Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to a spooky tutorial. It's September now, and as far as I'm concerned, it's Halloween. So today we're making a jack-o'-lantern candy cuff, and I will be putting the pattern that I made for this in the description for you, so you can follow along. This pattern uses a total of 270 beads. That is 220 of these orange, 47 black, and three green. I'm also using my scissors and this one millimeter white elastic. Um, I got all the supplies from today's video from Jo Ants. I'm starting with a smaller piece than usual because this is just how much was left on my spool. I think this is like four feet. Um, this is gonna be a pretty tall cuff, so I'll probably definitely need to add more. All right, and this is a multi-stitch cuff, so we're gonna start by making a orange single, and we're gonna build off of that. Now my wrist is six inches around, and I'm gonna make my single to start off with 30 beads around. Um, if you need to vary it in size, bigger or smaller, make sure that it is an even number for the multi-stitch to work properly. And once I have my 30 beads on, always double count because sometimes you don't put the right amount the first time. And then I'm going to make one end of the string really short and the other end will have all the length on it. And then I'm going to tie a triple knot and make sure that you tug on the ends of the string to make sure the knot will not come undone. And then you can cut this really short tail off. Now we're ready to get started with the pattern. I'm going to start by taking my string and placing it through one of the beads that's right next to where it's coming out. Just to sort of get myself started. So the first five beads of this pattern are gonna be orange. So place on one orange. And then you're gonna skip a bead and then place your string through the next bead. Then another orange, skip a bead, and place your string through the next bead. Skip a bead, put your string through the next bead. Add another orange, skip a bead, put your string through that next bead. And another orange. I'm going to skip a bead and put my string through the next bead. Pretty simple so far. Now I'm going to add three black. I'll add a black bead, skip a bead, and put my string through the next bead. Another black bead. And another black bead. And then I'm going to finish this row off with more orange all the way across. And every few beads that you add, you'll want to tug on the end of your string to tighten everything and keep it nice and neat looking. So now I have added all the beads that I can on this row, and I'll need to take my string and put it through the bead sticking up right next to it. And that is how I get to the next row. Now my next row is going to be all orange. So you will add one orange bead, and then place your string through the next bead that's sticking up. Add another orange. Place your string through the next bead that's sticking up. Adding another orange. 
and placing my string through the next bead that's sticking up and just do all orange all the way around this row. And when you get to the end of the row, don't forget to put your string through the next bead that's sticking up just so you can get to the next row. So on this next row, we're going to be adding five black beads. It's gonna be three on top of the ones we already have and then one off to each side. So I'm going to do orange until I get to this one. And then right here, um, next to our other black beads, we're gonna put one black bead right there. So the next one, two, three, four, five are all gonna be black. Alrighty, so after you add the last bead of the row, don't forget to place your string through the bead that's sticking up right next to it. And it should look like this. And then on this row, everything's gonna be orange except for the four beads in between all the black beads. Okay, now let's fill in those little spaces in between the black beads with more black beads. And now that we've done that, it's going to be orange the rest of the way around. So now it should look like this. So on this row, we're going to place a black right here. Two more black. The very middle will be orange. And then three more black. I'll place an orange here, then right here, we're going to start the black. So it'll be black, 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 orange, black, black, black. It should look like that, and then do the rest of the row orange. And I'm actually going to add some string here. Uh, there's going to be a tutorial in the description about how to add string. And when I do add string, I don't add all that much. I just add like two feet. On this row, we're only going to be adding two black. It's going to be right here in this gap and right here in this gap. And all the rest will be orange. So I'll place my black in between these two black. Then four orange. And then a black in between these two black. And then the rest will be orange. So now it should look like this. And then right here, we're going to place a black and then another black. Then three orange and two more black. So it should look like that and I'll do the rest of the row orange.
So for this row, there's supposed to be a black here, but we'll have to do that at the very end because the string's coming out here. And then we'll have two orange, and then two black for the nose, and then two more orange, and then a black right here. I'm going to start with two orange. Then I will put two black in the center for the nose. Then two more orange. And then a black in each corner of the mouth. So one black here. And then I'm going to go all the way around with the orange and put on a black right there. Now I'm ending this row with a black right in the corner of the mouth. And I really need to add some more string already. So right now, it should be looking like this. So we're going to start this row by putting an orange right here, an orange right here, and then a black in the middle of the nose. And then two more orange. And then a black right here. And then I will need to do orange all the way around until a black right here. Okay, don't forget the last bead on this rose black. Well, now his nose is done. That's cute. So, right here next to the nose, we're going to put a black bead to start working on the eye. Then we'll put two orange beads on top of the nose. And then another black for the other eye. And then an orange here, and then a black in the corner of the mouth. Then we'll do orange all the way until we get to the other mouth corner, and we'll put a black there. Okay, I've made it to the other corner of the mouth, so I'll place a black there, and then one more orange to finish off this row. He's looking cute. And it looks like we're done with the mouth. So now I just gotta work on the eyes. Um, and this row, everything is going to be orange, except for two black here and two black here. So I'll be placing a black right here and I'll have to come back around for the other side of the eye. So I'll do a black right here on the side of the eye, then an orange in the middle of the nose, then a black on each side of this eye, and then I'll need to do orange all the way around till I get to this side of the eye, and I'll put a black there to finish off the row. Alright, so I've gone back around to my eye. I'm going to place a black right there to finish off this row. So now, he looks like this. So for this row, everything's orange except for four black beads. And those are going to go on the outside and the middle of the eyes. So in between the eyes, I'm going to put two orange. Then I'll do a black on the middle and on the outside of this eye. And then I'm going to do orange all the way around till I get to the other eye.
so now I can put a black bead right here on the outside of this eye and then right here in the middle of this eye and that will be it for this row. And now it looks like that. Alright, this row is only going to have two black beads and the rest will be orange. Um, it's just going to be one right here and one right here. Now I'm going to do orange all the way around till I can get to this other eye. Alright, now that I've made it to this eye, I'm just going to put a black right there and then finish off the row with an orange right there. Alright, now on this row we're going to finish off the eyes by just putting a black at the top outside corner of each eye. The rest will be orange. So I'm putting a black right here in the outside corner of this eye. And then I'll do orange all the way till I get to the other eye. I've made it back around to my other eyeball and I'm just gonna put a black in the outside corner and then make the rest of the beads in this row orange. So that is the face finished off. We just gotta get the last two rows and his cute little stem. So this row will be all orange, except for one green, right in the middle of his face. My very last bead in this row is going to be the little green one that goes in between his eyes. And this is the very last row. We're going to put one green on each side of this already here green. And then the rest will be orange and we're going to tie it off. Alright, here we are. The last two beads of the cuff. It's going to be one green on each side of this green. And that will finish off his little stem. And now, we'll need to tie it off. So to tie it off, you'll need to take your string and place it underneath the string that's connecting these two beads. And then you will hold the loop in one hand and the other end in the other hand and just tie a double knot. And make sure that you tug on the ends to make sure that it's very tight. Be very careful if you're using clear string, it can snap. And then I'll cut that off. Can I do something with this knot though? There we go. Here he is completed. Our very big, very spooky jack-o'-lantern candy cuff. Let me know if you tried this pattern out. Uh, my social media contact info is in the description down below. I do have some more Halloween themed patterns coming up. Um, I look forward to making them with you. And until next time, peace, love, unity, and respect.